Even when I die or when the day of my death, I will not repent because I know for sure I will go to heaven. Because my mind is clear and clean in Jesus. I will not invite, call upon anyone to repent. It is written. And no one will erase it. Where you see me now, I have passed through many battles. Battles of a call. Myself, I am scars of temptations, trials. It is not by my power, but because of the power of the one who makes me stand on the rock. God is asking you, where do you stand? If the storm comes, will you still stand still? Development comes, will you endure that? Wealth, if the wealth comes, will you still stand? The school that you are attending, where is it make you stand? The fiancé that you are seeking, where does he or he make you stand? The money that you are making, where is it making you stand? The friends that you have this time, where are they making you stand? Hallelujah. Praise 
praise the Lord. My brothers, I ask you to please search yourself, the relationship between you and God. There is a voice that's telling me that some of you need to renew the relationship that you have with God. There is a relationship between you and God that has failed and needs to be repaired. I ask you, I urge you, if you are here, before I continue, please step forward. There is a the God is going to renew the relationship. Do not worry. Come forward. God wants, you to, wants to rebuild the relationship between you and him. Say, Lord Jesus, I have come back. 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 I Yes, 
urakoze urakoze kungarurira umuneze kungarurira umuneze wagakizaka wagakizaka mwizina rya Yesu mwizina rya Yesu amen haleluya haleluya murakoze cyane thank you so much oh imana niziza god is good imana niziza god is good murabohowe kandi murababariwe you are set free and forgiven haleluya you are set free and forgiven. The relationship between you and God has restored. Yes, we. Jesus. Shima. Praised. Shima. Be praised. The goodness of the Lord is so good. Oh, hallelujah. 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 The all has been forgotten and everything has been made to be new this evening. Everything has been made to be new this evening in your life. Do not be remembered uh, your old days by the devil. The devil, the devil yesterday, but beginning today, your life has been made anew. Amen. I am going to sing one last song and then I will turn to the word. Are you tired? This is the day to officially open the house of God. Dedication. Dedication, thank you. We are dedicating you. this house. We are the, uh, the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day I asked myself of the secret that would make a person stay in the uh, fire revival without turning back. As I have read the word, and I have studied the people that I've lived with, people would be in so much revival and after a while they would fade. And I would ask myself, how would a person be in so good relationship with God and then after they turn back around? How does revival fade away? A person starts really well. And after a while, they backslide. And I asked myself another question. How do other people manage to stay in that revival? 
and I prayed about it. When I, when I tell you about my prayer request, I, I'm very funny when I pray. I don't pray for cars or houses, but I pray for such things of why do people backslide when, from the relationship with God. There is a way that I sleep after having prayed. And I live on, on to God. And one day I saw a person seated underneath two trees. Those trees had olive oil. Uh, and there were there were bakers that were filtering the uh, the oil from the trees. And there were drops, uh, uh, drips from the oil, and would be dropped on that person. And I heard a voice. Those who are underneath the shadow of the Lord. And they dwell there. They will always be young. They will always be young. They will not backslide. And I prayed for that anointing. But I thought that I thought that seeking for that anointing requires me to dwell in Usanima. When you stay longer with God, you resemble God. When you stay longer with a uh, fornicator, you just look like them. When you stay longer with bandits, you become one of them. When you stay longer with angels, you become one of them. Uh, when you stay longer with God, you never lose the revival. And I saw the trees. The ground in which they grew and made them look green all the time. Uh, those, those, uh, those trees grew right next to the river or water. And I realized the secret that we need to stay longer next to God. And I wrote this song Ah, 
casa da sua Ununga niriza meza yange Mbuma soya banzi banje bose Usizu mutwe wanja mavuta Igikombe kira seseka Igitingi giti hafi No mubusaza gangenza mura Kujira makaka mani toto Hallelujah Amen, 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 Amen Praise God Imani ratu saba kuguma mubu ishobuga ayo hanyuma itu yereke God is asking us to stay in his hiding place. In his hiding place so he can reveal himself unto us. This is how the Holy Spirit is leading me. I am going to ask Pastor Elias, Elias to come here. Uh, every pastor that is still renting or is worshiping in a place that yeah. is not their own. Pastor Elias is going to lay his hands on them. There is an anointing to build up churches. I want you to understand this in this way of spirit. Who still rents a church? I want you all to come here. This is what the Lord is going to do. God is going to anoint you all so that you would own your own church building. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Do you agree with this? Eh? Are you with me? I'm going to ask him not to talk more words. In the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 11, Paul says, I want to come to you so I that I long to come to you so I may impart spiritual gifts in you. Ndifuza kuza iwanyu kugira ngo mbaherezi mpano z'umwuka. Hari impano uyu mugabo afite. There is spiritual gifts that this man holds. Hari impano afite. There is a spirit a gift that he has. Ikindi gitangaje. Another that is a very astonishing. Uru rusengero turimo. This building in which we are. Bamaze kurugura. After he bought it, kuhasengera. After they started praying in this place, God brought uh, petrol, uh, petroleum underneath this ground. There is oil underneath this ground. This is what shows uh, wealth. Pastor, Pastor, I want you to just touch the hands. You may begin with 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 I am going to be praying Katuza. as you lay your hands on your hands. Komeye. Lord Jesus. He is laying his hands upon them. They have churches which they are renting. Let it begin end today. Give them their own temples. Build so that they will be able uh, to worship without uh, let this anointing flow on them. Let this anointing flow on them. Let this anointing come to them. Let this anointing sit upon them from this moment. Uh, give them pastors. Give them buildings. Give them wealth in the way of spirit so that they will serve you in this nation. So that they will exalt you in this nation. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. May God bless you all. You may receive. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Kera naru muri dims. I used to be a singer. I saw Murekatete here. She used to be one of my singers in the choir. I am going to sing. Today is a joyous day. I am very happy. Please allow me to worship the Lord in the way of song. Then I will hear the word of God. Because of so much time that I spent preaching, and I was actually anointed, called to sing. Uh, though I have devoted into doing other things, but I know singing is my call. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to sing two songs. If I if it goes well, I'm gonna sing number third, number three, but I'm not going to take so long. This is a song that I wrote. It says I have uh, made a covenant, made a covenant with you to Sinza, never betray you. Uh, My heart has come uh, has come has become one with yours, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> a very long time ago we used to have a children choir I used to be the choir leader of her she used to sing really well Nyagatore is also here where is she and Pastor Manasi as well. May glory to God. Those who do not come from Bijom, but you don't know what I'm talking about. It is a pleasure to see Manasi as a pastor. Truthfully, I thank the Lord for the prayers of our parents. It is a, a seed that never decays. Do not worry. Uh, I used to have my older brothers who were not believers, but during their old days, they believed. Though a person may take so long, but at the end of the day, he will come into the house of the Lord. Sour. Hallelujah. Uh, 
Nja muri studio sinzi bagirwa ariko nja muri studio niho ndimbira imbirimbo muri studio ngezemo noneho nkazaheruka ico gihe nta practice ngira nabonye abayumbe bagira practice ariko nje nta practice ngira ndimo ndashaka ijwi ngwe nkabagabanye kavuri megato cyane umugabanye Na kwa matwia 
grande Guai a Sisa Marasso Siga e não vá Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. I was in Ashland. Ashland, uh, Ashland is a place in Vermont. Ashland is a place in Vermont. This was in 2004. That is in somewhere in Virginia. I was in a forest. <laughs> in in a it was here in America in 2004. There is a place called Ashland. Uh, this is a place owned by a uh, it's a ministry owned by a person. She's late now. Her name is Ruth Heflin. Ruth Heflin. I went to pray. I was there for seven days. It's in a camp. Uh, and as I prayed, I was in so much battle. And I was taken into revelation. In the revelation, I saw a person coming and they anointed me. The oil looked like blood everywhere on my body, on my ears. On my arms, Kumaguru, my feet, Kumaboko, eh, Kumaso, on my eyes, Hanyuma, Tangia Kuona, Wundi Burgi Buddha, Buddha Sansway, Bona Ukimana, Isindi Shizabin. And then after I started, uh, everything was revealed to me. I saw how God conquers the battles for he, those whom He loves. Ukimani Rwani Rabin. How God fights the battles on our behalf. Bavandim. Brethren, Umuyaguraza, there was a storm Urankubita that hit me. Yekwisang when I revealed myself. I saw myself. <laughs> and I was standing on a very big rock. Was on, on the top. When I, the, the other side of the rock, there was a hole. Uh, the wind was coming from east and it was pushing me to fall the other side of the rock. And had I fallen <coughs> over into that pit, I would have died because it was very deep from the top. I couldn't see the, the, the surface of that pit. And then the Lord showed me from my feet I saw through the, the, the power of the blood that radiated through my feet all the way into my heart and my heart was entangled with the heart of the King Jesus. I saw a big an army that was coming against me, but before they came to me, they had already failed. And I heard a voice from the top of the mountain. The voice said unto me that that is how the Lord fights for those who are righteous. Those who believe his word and walk in his power. They, are, they have been sprinkled by the, the blood of Jesus. There is nothing that will take them away from the rock. And I was 
I was brought out of the revelation. And the person told me the last word. And he told me that you will pass through battles. You will not fear. You will pass through problems. But you stand on a rock. I will fight for you until you die. When I came from the revelation, I made a covenant with God. As long as he protects me, I will not betray him. That is when I wrote this song. Hallelujah. You may not get the meaning of this song, but it's actually uh, historical to me. From that time, nothing would make me fearful because I know where I stand. I, I ask you to please search yourself, the relationship between you and God. There is a voice that's telling me that some of you need to renew the relationship that you have with God. There is, there, there is a relationship between you and God that has failed and needs to be repaired. I ask you, I urge you, if you are here, before I continue, please step forward. There is a the God is going to renew the relationship. Do not worry. Come forward. Wants you to wants to rebuild the relationship between you and Him. Come kurutare nawahane nomusenye nawahane nomusenye ni come jeje kurutare nawahane
Nikomeje kurutare na wahani nomuzeni na wahani nomuzeni Ndagira ngo mukomeze mwigire hino I ask you to please komeza wigi mwegera ne Oh asas ga Nite kuye na mayegu kianuka anengezuta ba nikom eje kurutare na wahandi numuse. Come je guru tare na wahande no mo senye na wahande no mo senye ni come je Say, Lord Jesus, I have come back ndagarutse mu nzu ndagarutse mu nzu mu rugo rwa dada mu rugo rwa dada nyakira Yesu nyakira Yesu nyakira Yesu nyakira Yesu ndaje Yesu ndaje Yesu nyakira data nyakira data ndagarutse ndagarutse mu birenge byabo mu birenge ngiri imbabazi Yesu ngiri imbabazi Yesu ngiri imbabazi Yesu ngiri imbabazi Yesu mbohora mbohora kameri mboshe kameri mboshe ingeso zimboshe ingeso zimboshe ndazichagagura ndazichagagura mwizina rya Yesu mwizina rya Yesu wangesowe wangesowe wakamerewe wakamerewe menagurika menagurika mwizina rya Yesu mwizina rya Yesu 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 ngirira neza ngirira neza mbohora mbohora muri uyu mwanya muri uyu mwanya urakoze urakoze kungarurira umuneze kungarurira umuneze wagakiza kandi wagakiza kandi mwizina rya Yesu mwizina rya Yesu amen haleluya haleluya murakoze cyane thank you so much oh imana niziza god is good imana niziza god is good murabohowe kandi murababariwe you are set free and forgiven haleluya ubuntu bw'imana bwababariye mwibagira ibyabyibagira Yesu given all your sins and Amen. forgotten hallelujah i am going to sing one last song and then i will turn to the word are you tired this is the day to officially open the house of god dedication dedication thank you we are dedicating you. this house we are trimogutaha inzu the house of the lord inzu yimana Hallelujah. Eh, umunsi umwe naribajije ibanga byatuma umuntu aguma mu buzutse budasubira inyuma. One day I asked myself of the secret that would make a person stay in the uh, fire revival without turning back. Kuko nagiye nsoma muri Bibiliya, as I have read the word, ndeba nabantu bamwe twabanye. And I have studied the people that I've lived with. People would be in so much revival and after a while they would fade. And I would ask myself, how would a person be in so good relationship with God and then after they turn back around? 
Musubira inyuma. How does revival fade away? Umuna gatangira neza. A person starts really well. And after a while, they backslide. And I asked myself another question. How do other people manage to stay in that revival? And I prayed about it. When I, when I, if I tell you about my prayer request, I, I'm very funny when I pray. I don't pray for cars or houses, but I pray for such things of why do people backslide when, from the relationship with God. There is a way that I sleep after having prayed. And I live on, on to God. And one day I saw a person seated uh, underneath two trees. Those trees had olive oil. Uh, and there were there were bakers that were filtering the uh, the oil from the trees. And there were drops, uh, uh, drips from the oil, and would be dropped on that person. And I heard a voice. Those who are underneath the shadow of the Lord, and they dwell there, they will always be young. They will always be young. They will not backslide. And I prayed for that anointing. But I thought that I thought that seeking for that anointing requires me to dwell in the will of God. When you stay longer with God, you resemble God. When you stay longer with a fornicator, you just look like them. When you stay longer with bandits, you become one of them. When you stay longer with angels, you become one of them. Uh, when you stay longer with God, you never lose the revival. Mm -hmm. And I saw the trees. The ground in which they grew and made them look green all the time. Uh, those, those, uh, those trees grew right next to the river or water. And I realized the secret that we need to stay longer next to God. And I wrote this song Da 
suma Kwa mbere yungungeri mwiza ntacho nzakubu Praise God. 